Um, today I'm tying my version of the hare's ear. Um, I got a size 14 hook with a gold bead on it. We're gonna start this out with a green, I can focus that in, a green olive thread, okay? So I already got the, the bead on the hook. I'm gonna start right behind the head, come all the way back. Time. And we're gonna take our pheasant tail, got a light tan color. I like to take three or four quills in the back, tie it in as a tail. Clip off the excess. Finish tying it in. body I'm going to use you can use kind of whatever you want I like to use a lighter a lighter brown lighter tan color on the back body here okay. now this is a non-weighted one um, if you want something a little more weight, you're fishing a little deeper waters, you can always throw a lead on underneath before you wrap this whole process. Okay, so we're gonna start right back at the tail. Come up. We're coming about two thirds of the way up. Okay, and stop. Okay, now I'm gonna do we're gonna tie in. We're gonna tie in that pheasant tail that we used off the remainder we have left on the tail. If you don't got any more of them, just get a new piece, okay? Tie it in like that. And we start right where that thread ended, or right where we ended with that last dubbing. We tie it right back to there. We want to lay it backwards. Okay, now for the thorax, I'm using this, okay? It's an ice dub olive brown. This has a little bit of flash in it. I like it. I, don't, I think it. I think it throws a little bit more tension through the water than just using your gold brown. This has that little sparkly flash in it. This I'm gonna make rather big. Make this have part a little more proof to make it stand out. Okay. Get you in the mouth there, just like that. Okay. And when you're done with that, bring that. Pheasant tail over and tie it in at the top as your wing case. Okay, clip that off. Finish tying that in. Okay. That is pretty much it. Clip it up. Um, you're gonna have some stragglers. I like to kind of rough out the bottom of this dubbing, make it look leggy. Got some legs coming off, and then just trim it to about where that bottom of that hook comes out. And there you have it. That's the hairs here I use. I use that everywhere between Weber, Logan, all up in Idaho when it catches fish. So. There you go, why don't you give it a try and tell me what you think.